Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today, we're taking a bit of a look at the app Better Sleep. So, what Better Sleep is, is a sleep tracker. Meaning that it records you as you sleep. And supposedly tells you about your cycle. How deep sleep you get, and for how long. But, much more than that too, it is filled with meditations, frequencies, and a whole range of other things to help you get a better night's sleep. So, how effective is it? Let's jump in and find out. So, here we are jumping into better sleep. Now, one thing is that it does take a little bit to load sometimes. You can see here what we've got. And I am using the premium trial. So they do offer a seven day free premium trial for this one. So you can fall asleep faster, listen to a mix, and whatever else, sleep hypnosis as well. So to track your sleep, you just go to the sleep button right in the center there, and continue. And yeah, you can see what time I'm going. So as I'm recording a screen for this, the microphone's muted. Now prevent shutdown. It wants me to connect my device to a charger, which is a great thing because you, you know, you can keep the black screen on there, but you're gonna run out of charge eventually if this is running. Now, if I put the volume up, you can see here that I've got four items currently running. But due to the microphone being used by the other app, it's not going to play. And you can see too here that I've got no alarm set, so I can easily put that on for 4.45 like I normally do. And that wakes you with a gentle, gentle alarm. And so here we have space travel. Here we have resting by the river. And if we go stop recording, we can quit now. So a minimum of 30 minutes is what it needs to be able to actually put in some data. But here, you can see my Thursday night was pretty trash. So you can see here I was awake for one hour and 19 minutes from, you know, 10.30 all the way through to 4.45, where I was awake, where I was in deep sleep. Now you've got all your recordings too, coughing, sneezing, snoring, So that one was actually snoring rather than sneezing. And then talking. Because we had a blackout last night as well. So when we woke up, we talked about that a little bit earlier than what we were actually waking up by alarms with. Now, if we go here, two day home screen, we've got a meditation there. Good evening and welcome to this hypnotic guidance that will transport you. And so on and so forth. Good quality audio. You can move all the way around through. You can add that one to your playlist if you want. You can download that one. You can heart that one so you can always find it in your favorites. And you can go through the mix. So you can increase the sound of the wind in trees or eternity as you go. So you can make your own little background music to any meditation or hypnosis that you're playing. And so too, you've got all your stories as well. Ringing in the new year, recently play, your top 10 rated, healing musics at different frequencies, which we'll get into a little bit more later as well, and all different sorts of tracks. Now, if we go into sounds, here's where you can choose all the different sounds. So a bit of white noise, Bit of eternity, turn that off, pink noise, synth wave. You've got a whole range of different sounds. That you can apply at the same time. And there are plenty. And up the top here too, you can sort them by genre. But going back all the way over this way too, You've got your frequency ranges, which I find really cool. I love playing around with these as well. So here we've got my favorite 432. And it is just that frequency range. So you can have a bit of rain. You can have a bit of a river. You can have the deep brown noise going as well. And you can choose the hertz. And it's going to tell you what is actually 
it's actually doing as well. Just a little brief description, but you can learn more about those frequencies right then and there. So I love the inclusion of those frequencies in there. Then you've got your journal. Pause that one for a sec. And you can go through up the top here and check your sleep. So your sleep quality, it's going to give it a rating out of 100. As well as your profile. So your sleep goal, your bedtime goal, so what time you want to get to bed, what time you want to awake, help and support, and your chronotype. If I had no obligations, Unfortunately, I'm always at 6. What time would I go to bed? Roughly around 9 to 10.15. What time do I feel asleep? It is around that time as well. What time do I normally feel my best? Now, normally this time it's been a little bit later in the day, but it used to be around that 8.10. Uh, during my first half an hour, at the moment I'm fairly tired, unfortunately. Stay in bed and get up slightly, that's it. Yeah. Stay awake. So you can take this quiz to find out your chronotype. Definitely a morning person, but then too, I'm always up in the evening as well. I'm a rabbit. And funnily enough, I think in my Chinese horoscope, I am a rabbit. You're an early riser, cool. And so you get your ideal bedtime score there. And that is about it, without going into all your stuff in there. But you get a wealth of all of these hypnosis, sounds, everything. So you can go for your mixes, go back, you got sleep moves. Yes. And your favourites once again. So all very easy to find, very beautiful to look at too. So that is Better Sleep in a Nutshell. A sleep tracker, as well as a whole bunch of sleeping aids, as well as a whole bunch of other aids as well to help you calm yourself throughout the day, if you need that, as well as before bedtime. Pretty informative. Pretty informative about you and your sleep and what's happening during that sleep cycle as well. It can tell how restless you are by recording you and gives you an idea of what times you're sort of waking up and what the quality of sleep is that you're getting. So very useful in that way. Now with these ones too, it can be like taken with a grain of salt. There were other times where snoring was actually our fan going because it's summer here and we just have a fan blowing over us all night because it's damn hot and it's easier to sleep in the cool than it is without saying. It's one of those things where it's like, it's only limited by the actual app's ability to know what is going on there. Obviously it can decipher talking from snoring, so that's a good start there as well. At the end of the day, all those sort of sleep trackers are the same, and it's going to depend on the quality of the microphone on your phone as well. But given that, the quality of the audio and how much you get with the audio is well worth it as well. Because for this one, you're going to be paying about $60 a year if you go down the actual paying for it route. Now, that's the premium version. You probably don't get as much or anything near as much in the free version. Once again, it's up to you. Is $60 worth it to get that better quality sleep or to get those tones to listen to and activate yourself with? as well as all of the sounds and everything else that can help you get a better night's sleep and the stories and all of that. So it's up to you. It is presented in a very nice, very easy to use, beautiful package. So once again, it comes down to you, your value on that and what you feel of that. But for this one, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It has a lot and tells you a lot to do with sleep and how you behave. I love being able to set the sleep goal. So getting to bed by 9.30 or 10.30 or whatever the case may be. And what time you're getting up. Telling you how much you get and where you're restless. It's very, very handy knowledge to have. What can you do with it? Who knows? Maybe if there is something that you can do or do better to help you get a better night's sleep, you'll get more out of it being able to improve that quality, improve that sleep score number. But as it stands, it's a very handy app, very informative. So what you do with that knowledge is then up to you. But anyway guys, that is better sleep. Would you use it? Have you used it? What do you think of these sleep tracker apps? Are they any use? What can you do with that knowledge once you know it? Leave a comment down below. And as always, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. 
I'm Rob Murphy, and I will see you in the next video.